Okay, ambush site number one, 1227. All right, give you an idea of what I'm watching for here, okay? I didn't see no squirrel yet, all right? That tree right there got that little fork in it. 161 on the laser, okay? Just give you an idea. I'm gonna back this camera out. Okay, now when I come around this way here, it's not as far to the woods, but it's still over a hundred yards, okay? Okay, I've seen a squirrel all the way up counter to Ageville Wood, right through there. There's a big old dog right up there. See that right there? That's a long ways up there. Squirrel was moving left or right. Let's see if I can find him up there. I've seen that squirrel up there again. He went up a hickory tree, estimated 118 to 125 yards. You can see them trees right in there, them hickories. Right there, see that straight one right there? I, ain't, I can't find that squirrel. He's up in there somewhere. He'll slip up and let me see him. And I gotta watch this wind out here. I got a lot of left or right coming in here, but it does switch directions on me. I ain't seen that squirrel up there no more. Now, boy, he's up there pretty high in that tree about mid-level. He might have been going back to get in his hole. He moved pretty quick across there, so he was on a mission. Either to go back to his hole or to go find something deep, but I ain't seen him up in there roaming around on the ground looking for a nut. It's time to move. All right, ambush site number two. Still not anything but that one squirrel. Okay, just to show you here, put things into perspective, that log up there is 100 yards. So if I go up in there and start shooting, it's farther than 100 yards. Okay, so substantially farther away up in there, okay? I can reach a squirrel up there with this gun. This wind is starting to lay. You might see that jet up there. Hey, look at that, that old jet up there in the sky. Huh. Camera shows him up good, don't he? I found that box square library. I always look up here set. I'm hitting him in the camera. He ain't very really far from me. 25 or 30 yards, maybe. He's in there set. Old fox squirrel. Alright, he come out of that tree, boys. There's a chicken hawk sitting here I didn't see though that flew when I shot that squirrel, but I've never seen a chicken hawk try to get one of my fox squirrels. It may be some gray squirrels. That, that hawk might have been sitting up on a gray squirrel here. That's a hickory right there, a pair of them. They may be coming in here later. A steep off there where I gotta go get that squirrel. And you see what happened to him. He might have been 35 yards. He might not have been 25. I didn't lay him. He wasn't too far. That's where she come out. Let me roll him over here where you can see where it went in. There below that eye. See the cedar down there? The left of that cedar down there is where I was upset. See, and I couldn't see him up here because he's up here a sun, and I guess he wasn't moving around in the tree. Got one up in here. I could hear him eating a nut, but I ain't seen him yet. I just heard him. What did I see? It's a gray squirrel. I've seen him. I believe there's more than one up here in one of my left. You see that leaning tree out there? Leaning tree up there. It was up there. There's a hole right there. You might see that, that camera right there. There's a hole right in there. He might have went in that hole, but he'll come back out. It's pretty early still. Alright, I shot another one, but I couldn't show you this squirrel for that sunball. It's hard to kill that squirrel up there, but now he come out of that tree, boy. I had to clear a little limb. I'm going to tell you something, this little stick right here ready, but was that short one right there, that promise trigger stick, I just, see I was set up back this way right here, so I raised up, and there's another squirrel over here, but he, he may or may not come back, but I just moved his stick out, standing on my knees right here, and plugged him, so I didn't have to, 
I didn't have to get over here behind this tree. What's going to happen when a squirrel sits still and lets me sting? See, I don't hear it there. Oh, I don't hear it there, boys. Bulls and I, you know what that means. I've got another squirrel here below me, but I don't know why. I, I could have shot him, but I'm shooting in the direction of my truck down low. I don't want to shoot that. Okay, I've got me one over here. He's a, he's a running right at 100 yards like I've ever seen. I've seen him twice. Oh, right under. Went up above that log, right under. He's up in there. I'll see him. Got a little bit of right to left wind. Not much, though. Very little. Conditions out here are real nice right now. You may see this where he come up on that old dead tree right there. Come over there to the top of that dead on that tree. I see if I get him to the hill. Right there he is. See him right there. I believe that, I believe that squirrel went down in the end of that old tree up there. You might not have seen him in the camera. He might have done went in the hole. I think it's got a hole in the end of it. I shot one down here. Now, if I was to have a thin head shot on this squirrel right here, I guarantee you he ain't shot in a snout. If he shot anywhere, he shot in the back of the head. I don't know if that's that squirrel that was in that old dead thing over there or not. I know one thing about with that thing right there is handy. That short one. For my style of hunting, that thing really right there, boys. With this gun right here, this thing right here is a cat's meal. Short primus trigger stick. Not that old long one. I got that thing. I won't ever use that in the winter time. You see what I was telling you about that back of that head? Oh boy, there he wouldn't let me see that center of that head. I couldn't move. He seen me in the woods, boys. A long ways away, he reared up and seen me. He got hair problems though. See there? He got me one right up in here, but now I ain't seen I seen him twice. Come off that old log right there. I thought I got a glimpse of him earlier, but I second guessed myself. He's up in there. He may show himself here in a minute. Let's see that old snag right there where that squirrel just went to pull a hole. That squirrel seen me. He seen me more than once. We shot another one out of this walnut tree. He got one barking up here. Actually, there's two barking up here. It's getting late. I'm pretty far from my truck. I've got a long walk. I gotta be careful here. I ain't got no light with me. And I take another and jumped in that long tree there where I shot that bad squirrel with the barking, so I plugged him, I guess. But now these other squirrels over here quit barking. I've shot a duck one over here. And I've seen another squirrel up there too. I'm out here from above the lake. This is where I told you all the Walnut trees was back in the summer where a man would have a shooting gallery if he'd come up here. Well, that's where I'm at. <clears throat> you see how much daylight I got left. I've got days are starting to get longer now. I might get out here. Now, there's one that fell victim to that HM2 rifle, boys. There's one of them I shot out of that same walking tree, but I ain't finding this other squirrel. I'm running short on time here. And I finally found that squirrel way out here in the middle of the field. He must have plopped up the heel on me. He got that little head bust. I believe that's a young squirrel there. Time to start moving to the truck, boys. It's going to get dark on me. I can't ever get back to the truck. You see them there. There's three females. And three males. One fox squirrel. Fox squirrel is a male. All head shot. I'm gonna look at them there. I showed some of them as I shot them. He picked 
him up. Good little bat, Jared. 